Hello, uh, I've decided to do a new series of um, Python tutorials and in in this series I'm going to just mess around with Python. Uh, I want to teach you some new skills and techniques. Um, and I thought in this video we'll mess around with a, a, a string, um, a sentence, and we're going to remove all the vowels from the sentence. So let's take a look at how we do that. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is set up a constant um, and I'm going to call it variables and it's going to be a tuple. Uh, if you watch one of my previous um, videos, you know a tuple is an array. And in here I'm going to put in my vowels. So that's A, E, oops, too many, too many things. I, uh, O and U. Okay, so I've got my my constant here, my uh, vowels constant, and you notice because it's constant, I've deliberately put uh, capital letters in there to remind me that it's a constant, so I'm not like likely to want it to change. So, um, okay, so I want to get an input from a user. My input's going to be a, a string, uh, so let's call it message. So my message is going to be input from a user, and let's just say enter your message. Okay. I'm going to have a, um, a variable that contains an empty string at the moment. Um, the variable uh, is, going to is going to basically contain all the consonants from the original message because we're going to remove the vowels. So we'll call it new message. And this is going to be an equal to an empty string at the moment. Okay. So we've got the two variables we're going to need for this um, for this. Uh, whatever you want to call it, little project. Um, so let's think about what we need to do. Right, so we need to look at each letter in our message and we need to check to see if it's a vowel. If it is not a vowel, then we want it to go into the new message. If it is a vowel, then we're going to ignore it. So we're going to want to use some kind of loop. And I think in this one, we're going to use a for loop. So we'll go for letter in our message. So for each letter in our message, we want to do the following thing. So we want to check to see if the letter is actually a vowel. So, if letter in, um, not in, because we want it to be the constant, not in vowels. So, if our letter is not found in the vowels tuple, what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, new message is going to be equal to whatever's in the new message plus the letter. And that's pretty much it. All we need to do is be able to print the result of the new message. Okay, so let's take a look at it in action. So we're going to enter our new message. So we'll say hello world. And lo and behold, it has removed all of our vowels. So let's see what's actually happening. Let's stick another if statement in here. So if letter in vowels, so now we're going to see if the letter is in vowels, let's just get it to print a message on the screen. Letter is a vowel. Okay, so for each letter now, we're going to check if it's found in the vowel, it's going to print that message. Let's do hello, hello world again. There we go. O is a vowel. Well, E is a vowel, O is a vowel, O is a vowel. And, yep, yeah, it's removed the E from hello. Then it's removed the O from hello. And then it's removed the O from hello because they were all vowels. Let's run another one. Um, the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Okay. There we go. So it removes all of the vowels in that one as well. And that's it, simple, simple program that checks each letter in a message, compares each letter to a tuple to see if the letter is uh, a vowel. And if it is a vowel, it uh, ignores it. If it isn't a vowel, it appends the message to this new variable called new message, and then it prints the results.